Today we are going to talk about divisibility. So when we say divisibility, this is now the quality of being divided by another number without a remainder or leftover. So dapat eksakto yung makukuha natin. Wala siyang remainder. So let's have divisibility rule for 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even. Meaning, all even numbers can be divided by 2. Example, 1,678. This is an even number because it ends in 8. So, if we're going to divide by 2, we will get 839. Another, how about 1,000? 1, 1,000 is an even number. It ends in 0. Okay? This is divisible by 2. If we divide by 2, we will get 500. How about 3? A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Let's take this as an example. 2,358. Is this divisible by 3? Let's check it out. So, sabi dito, sum of the digits. Sum ay sagot sa Addition, correct. So, let's add all of the digits. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 5 is 10, plus 8 is 18. So, if we try to divide 18 by 3, we will get an exact number. Therefore, this is divisible by 3. If we get the quotient of 2,358 divided by 3, we will get 786. Okay, next. Another example, we have 13,707. Okay, i-add natin yung mga digits to check if that is divisible by 3. 1 plus 3, 4. Plus 7, 11. Plus 0, 11. Plus 7, 18. Again, 18 divided by 3 is 6. Therefore, this is divisible by 3. If we try to divide 13,707 by 3, we will get 4,569. So, that is divisible by 3. How about 4? The last two digits are divisible by 4 or the last two digits are 0. Example, sabi niya, yung last two digits daw ay 0. Pwede natin i-divide or it's divisible by 4. If we're going to divide 1,200 by 4, we will get 300. So the rule is correct. It ends in two zeros. Sabi pa niya, last two digits are divisible by 4. Example, 456,712. What are the last two digits? 12. And is 12 divisible by 4? Yes, we can get an exact quotient, which is 3. Therefore, this is divisible by 4. If we try to solve, you will get 114,178. If we're going to divide 456,712 by 4. Therefore, the rule is again correct. How about 5? A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5. Okay, let's prove it. Example 6,735. This number ends in 5. So is it divisible by 5? Yes, because if we're going to solve it, the answer is 1,347. Okay, how about 5,000? It ends in 0. So is this divisible by 5? Puede kaya? Yes. Because if we're going to divide 5,000 by 5, we will get 1,000. Rule 4, 6. A number is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. Take note of the word both. Dapat dalawa sila, not 2 only, not 3 only, but both. Let's prove it. 3,408. Is this number divisible by 2? So, going back to the rule, 
a number is divisible by 2 if it's an even number. And this is an even number because it ends in 8. So this is divisible by 2. How about 3? Going back to the rule, we have to add the digits and check if it's divisible by 3. 3 plus 4, 7 plus 0, 7 plus 8 is 15. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Therefore, this is also divisible by 3, which means this number is divisible by 6. So if we're going to solve 3,408 divided by 6, we will get 568. So we have already proven that rule. Another example, 59,256. So, tingnan natin kung divisible by 2 ba ito. This is an even number because it ends in 6, therefore it's divisible by 2. How about 3? Is this divisible by 3? Let's check. 5 plus 9, 14, plus 2, 16, plus 5, 21, plus 6 is 27. And 27 divided by 3 is 9, therefore this number is also divisible by 3. Kaya, divisible by 3. 6 itong number na to. So if we're going to solve it, we will get 9,876. 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last 3 digits are divisible by 8 or if the last 3 digits are 0. Let's prove it. Example, 6,000. So sabi niya, it ends in three zeros. Last three digits are zero. So, is 6,000 divisible by 8? Yes, because it ends in three zeros. If we're going to divide by 8, we will get 750. So, the rule is proven. Another, sabi niya dito, if the last three digits are divisible by 8, So, sabi niya dito, the last three digits are divisible by 8. So, is 824 divisible by 8? If we're going to divide 824 by 8, we will get 103. Right? Okay, so, because this is divisible by 8, this number, 23,824, is also divisible by 8. Eight. We're going to divide it. We will get 2,978. So the rule is proven. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Parang 3 din to na sum of the digits. Let's prove it. 2,925. So we have to add all of the digits. 2 plus 9. 11 plus 2, 13 plus 5, 18. 18 divided by 9 is 2. Therefore, this is divisible by 9. So if we try to solve it, 2,925 divided by 9, we will get a quotient of 325. So again, the rule is proven. Another example, how about this one? Let's check. 53,064. So, adding all of the digits, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 0, 8, plus 6, 14, plus 4, 18, 18 na naman. 18 divided by 9 is 2. Therefore, this is divisible by 9. So, if we try to solve it, we will get 5,896. Therefore, proven ulit yung rule. A number is divisible by 10 if the number ends in 0. Very easy. Okay. So if it ends in 0, therefore, it's divisible by 10. If we're going to divide 860 by 10, we will get 86. Therefore, the rule is proven. How about this one? 94,570. Is it divisible by 10? Yes, because it ends in 0. If we're going to divide it, we will get 
a quotient of 9,457. And the last, the number is divisible by 12 if that number is divisible by both 3 and 4. Again, the word both, 3 and 4, dapat hindi lang 3, dapat hindi lang 4, dapat silang dalawa. Let's try to prove it. 5,496. Let's check if this is divisible by 3. So going back to the rule, you add all of the digits, divide the sum by 3, I add natin yung digits ngayon, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 9, 18 plus 6, 24. 24 divided by 3 is 8, it's divisible by 3, therefore this number is divisible by 3. How about 4? Going back to the rule, dapat yung last two digits ay divisible by 4. Okay, so is 96 divisible by 4? Oh yes, because if we're going to divide 96 by 4, we will get 24. Therefore, this is also divisible by 4. Because the number is both divisible by 3 and 4, it's also divisible by 12. Okay, so we have proven the, the rule. If we're going to divide 5,496 by 12, we will get 458. Another number. Let's try a bigger one. 222,144. So let's check if it's divisible by 3 and 4. Let's add all of the digits. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7 plus 4. 11 plus 4, 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Therefore, this number is divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 4? Going back to the rule, yung dalawang last digits niya ay dapat divisible by 4. So, is 44 divisible by 4? Yes, because if we're going to divide 44 by 4, we will get 11. Therefore, this number is also divisible by 4. Four. Kaya, ang number na to ay divisible by 12. So, if we do the long cut, we will get a quotient of 18,512. So, another rule is proven. Okay, now, test yourself. Check if the number is divisible by 2, 3, 5, 6, or 9. You may pause the video and solve, then get the answers later. Okay, for number 1, 3,624. So, the numbers are 2, 3, and 6. Number 2, 81,045. That number is divisible by 3, 5, and 9. How about 3? 67,452 That number is divisible by 2, 3, and 6 Number 4 46,122 That number is divisible by 2, 3, and 6 And the last one 8,892 That number is divisible by 2, 3, and 6 6 and 9 Next Check if the number is divisible by 4, 8, 10, 12 Again, you may pause the video then come back later for the answers Now that you're done Let's have number 1 8,400 That number is divisible by 4, 8, 10, and 12 Number 2 9,000. That number is divisible by 4, 8, 10, and 12. How about number 3? 5,624. It's divisible by 4. Number 4, 18,824. That is divisible by 4 and 8. And the last one, 7,412. 
that number is divisible by 4. That's it for today. Watch out for more maths and English lessons. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you and God bless.